Hi, I'm Sam North and this is the Borlase News. On Wednesday, December 4th, students, staff and parents were treated to Mr Robson's annual Christmas concert, this time with an Advent flavour due to the earlier date. The concert in the Weatherhead Room has become a Borlase tradition and it's a lovely intimate occasion for an audience of about 50 people enjoying musical performances of the highest quality, many with harpsichord accompaniment or are central to the arrangement. There are also readings from Dickens, C.S. Lewis and others. The programme culminated with a performance of Bach's fifth Brandenburg Concerto. Congratulations to all the musicians who performed. Thank you to Tammy Robinson, Aaron Baller, Emily Cole, Beth Duncan, Chloe Godso and Charlotte Thornton-White for decorations and serving excellent mulled wine and mince pies. Congratulations to Kobe George in Year 10 who has been shortlisted for the Poetry Rivals Performance Poetry Prize. His excellent poem, Grow, has been published in the new Poetry Rivals Plain as Poetry collection. Well done to all students who took part in the Key Stage 3 and 4 Spelling Bee finals this week. The winners were Romans Oscar Murphy from Year 8 and Vikings Johnny Hartrick from Year 11. For all those representing their houses for Key Stage 5, the Sixth Form Spelling Bee final will be held soon, so get ready to show how well you can spell. On Friday 6th December, Borlase invited two physicist speakers from the Rutherford Appleton Labs to speak to some of our physics students. Mark Telling and Cherry Brenner are two specialists within their representative fields, with the former being the chairman of the Institute of Physics in the South East. Students learnt about the particle accelerator and the particle physics research undertaken at Rutherford, primarily neutron imagining and the numerous uses of lasers. The talk aimed to provide students with an insight to the real-life application of science, and it is proposed that this talk will be built upon by a visit to the RAL in the coming months. Now to Rosie with Spores. Thanks, Sam. I'm Rosie Street, and I'll be giving you the sports highlights of this term. Congratulations to Toby Bruce, Matt Jones, Elliot Killington, Alex Lane, Jess Mitchell beach Ed Tyler, Greg Tyler, and Murray Whitaker for organising the 2013 Marlow Primary School Liaison Hockey Tournament on the 29th of November. The team of Year 9 students were described as fantastic ambassadors to the school as they carried out their umpiring duties, helped set up the pitches and acted as match officials, scorers and timekeepers. Thank you for making the tournament a great success. Last Sunday, the 8th of December, many of the rowers from years 10 to 13 went to Wallingford to take part in Wallingford Head of the River. After a short delay due to capsizing boats, fortunately not from Borlays, Five eights and a four set off with other clubs to race the 4.2 kilometre course in cold conditions. All of the crews did very well, with great results from the senior girls eight, who came second in an intermediate category, making them the faster junior girls eight of the day. A big congratulations to all of the rowers involved. In hockey news, congratulations to the girls under 18 team, who were crowned South Indoor Champions on Sunday 8th of December. Coach Porter described their effort as a really positive performance, and that she was proud of the way the girls stepped up. The under-13 girls hockey team played against Gordon's first 11, unfortunately losing 4-0. However, they played a great second half. Under-12 girls vs Wickham High played their second league game where they gained valuable match experience, with Mr Robertson adding that all the girls played well and learnt a lot. <laughs>